stają się u nas rozpoznawalne. The Black and White Raft Lemurs gain recognizability due to popular movie productions and because of the fact that tourists more and more often visit Madagascar and mid lemurs, which are the icons of that African island. The Black and White Raft Lemurs and the Ring-tailed Lemurs are most popular among numerous species of lemurs. The black and white rough lemurs become increasingly rare on Madagascar, but they more and more often are reproduced in world breeding establishments. They are still a breeding rarity, but proportionally to their disappearance in natural habitat, their number in captivity increases. Therefore, there is a fair hope that the species will be preserved despite of the imminent danger. The black and white draft lemurs, as well as other lemurs, are listed in Appendix No. 1 of the Washington Convention, which contains the most protected animals. It is the largest representative of lemurs, being a boreal and diurnal, active in daylight hours. Its diet consists mainly of fruit, although insects are also favored, but primarily it is frugivorous. In captivity, these animals easily adapt themselves to people and other pets. But still, in home settings, too few black and white rough lemurs come into the world, so adoption of them causes difficulties. They have a wonderful black fur with irregular white patches. There is also another species of this genius, the red raft lemur, which has red parts of fur instead of white. You could hear a characteristic sound made by these lemurs, which sounds a bit like a laugh. Well-formed limbs with opposable thumbs allow them to perform manual operations as precisely as humans. Show me your clothes. Their highly involved palms are adapted to perform various, even complicated operations like eating with hands. Right now, I have mentioned that you eat using your hands and you are ravening just like a dog. Although the black and white rough lemurs look pretty much like sluggish teddy bears. In fact, they are tremendously agile, fast and ubiquitous animals. They are really, unbelievably nibble, but this is connected with their lifestyle. They live in trees, where are no flat surfaces. Their prehensile fingers and extremely strong claws enable them locomotion. Now he has expressed his dissatisfaction with pulling him down from the tree which he wanted to climb. He is very curious and there are no barriers for him at home. That is why there is almost no nook he couldn't get about. But I can guarantee he will never cause any damage. He does not scatter stuff around and does not break anything. In this respect, he is a good boy. <laughs>